Hi guys, I'm Darren Altman. I'm a voiceover artist and impressionist. And in this video, I'm going to break down how you impersonate a guy that I get asked to take off a lot for radio adverts and web videos. I impersonated him uh, when I was on Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> hey, 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 big boy. Yes, look at me. Hey, well done. Yes, to do Claudia, you have to jump up and down as if you're absolutely busting for the toilet. Yes. <laughs> Your Gordon Ramsay is brilliant. Um, I and he features quite a lot in my stand-up. P. And look at that deep golden colour. That's exactly... That's exactly what we're looking for. Beautiful. I would say he's probably the most famous chef in the, in the world right now. I'm talking about Gordon Ramsay. Gordon was actually born in Scotland in a place called Johnston, which is to the west of Glasgow. And as a boy, he was a very successful footballer and he played for Glasgow Rangers for the under 15 team. When he was 10, his family moved to Stratford-upon-Avon in England, which is the home of William Shakespeare. And when he was 16, Gordon moved into a flat in a place called Banbury, which is between Birmingham and Oxford. As a chef, Gordon studied with some Michelin star chefs and fantastic names such as Guy Savoy, Michel Roux and Marco Pierre White, who was a renowned taskmaster. He had a ferocious temper and uh, in fact, he was the, the first host of Hell's Kitchen, which uh, Gordon Ramsay took over from. It's his upbringing in Glasgow, uh, coupled with uh, the fact that he studied with some uh, real tough taskmaster chefs that has given Gordon his now famous no-nonsense style. Get out! All three of you are pathetic. You don't care. I care, You're chef. way behind. Can we work together as a team? Yes, yes chef. chef. All of you, come here. It's disgusting. All right, chef. In terms of his vocal style, pitch-wise, he's sort of in the middle, really. He hasn't got a, a deep, booming, resonant voice, and it's not too high. It's sort of in the middle, pretty similar to mine, I would say. His voice is quite breathy. Ah... Uh, He's got that sort of, uh, that sort of quality to it. So medium range, he's, he's not down there and he's not up there. As I said, quite similar to mine. Now in terms of his delivery, because of his training, everything needs to be really hurried and really quick and he gets quite impatient. So that's all got to be there. Hey, big boy. Yes. Oi, oi, you. Hey, where's the sauce? Hey, come on. Where's that chicken? Yes. Hey, big boy, young man. So he's, everything's hurry, hurry, hurry. Quickly. Come on. Come on, big boy. Hey, oi. Also, he, he gets quite exasperated. If you watch Hell's Kitchen or Kitchen Nightmares, you can see him getting incredibly frustrated and exasperated. Oh, God, can we not get anything right? Hey, come on. What, what is all this in here? I wasn't going to get what it to you, What in the chef. fuck is going on here? Sorry, Chef. How much fucking spaghetti is in there? This salmon's pinker than my grandma's bloody lipstick. Come on. So it is straining there. Oh, God. He's really exasperated. So if you combine that sort of frantic energy, hey, oi, young man, hey, oi, where's the peas? Yes, come on. And couple with that, oh, God. You really get the feeling that he wants things to be done well and he wants things to be done quickly. Now, Gordon has a, what I think is a quite rhythmic way of speaking. And what he does is he will emphasize words which he really wants to stress. So if you listen to him explaining the instructions uh, for cooking a recipe, he will illustrate and pick out certain words in a quite a staccato manner. You take the saucepan and remove from the heat, pour the water. So remove, take, pour. All of those are accented. Okay, a little pinch of salt, okay? A small glug of olive oil. But equally, which I find quite funny, is that um, he will accent words which really aren't the, the stressed words. Well, I've taken the bone out uh, of the top of the breast. You take a piece of 
cake and put them in to <laughs> so there's no reason for him to stress peace or in and yet it's all there and it's accented with a hand gesture which we'll come on to uh, in a bit In terms of dynamics, so how loud and how soft Gordon is when he speaks, if he's demonstrating something or doing a voiceover, you know, when you see him cooking and you hear his voice on top, it's quite gentle, actually. He's got quite a mild-mannered way of speaking. So today we will be making spaghetti bolognese and look at that beautiful, yes? And exactly, so when he's doing his voiceover, one spaghetti bolognese, done. It's quite mild-mannered, it's quite calm. Of course, that's not what he's known for. Gordon can blow up in any second. Oi, big boy. Hey, young man. Hey, oi, look at me. Oi, hey, where's the sauce? Really loud, really explosive. Young man. Hey, oi, you. Yes, absolutely on the edge. Normally, that's if he's in Hell's Kitchen or in a kitchen where everything's really frantic. There's loads going on and he just hasn't got time to baby someone. Oi, young man. Hey, oi, look at me. Yes, don't put that on the plate. It's not going to work. Oi, big boy. What's that doing on the plate? Really shouting at the top of his voice. So in terms of his dynamic range, Gordon can go from very quiet and mild mannered to explosive. One thing which doesn't really get uh, discussed by impressionists is someone's physicality. And by that, I mean their gestures, their whole demeanor and their whole body. It's not just about the voice. In order to get into someone's character and their whole persona, it's impossible to do so in, in detail without talking about how their whole demeanor is, their gestures and their physicality. Now, Gordon really does gesture a lot. It's clear that when he's talking about certain points, he's got this hand gesture, which is his trademark, and he will also open up his hands. Yes, when I impersonated Gordon Ramsay on Britain's Got Talent, I was full of nervous energy. And my cousin, who was in the audience at the time, said, bloody hell, Darren, when you were impersonating Gordon, you were actually getting air. It was, young man, hey, oi, big boy, yes, oi, you, yes, oi. That sort of, that energy has to come across when you're doing your Gordon Ramsay. He's very physical, yes. He's always impatient, yes, on the tip of his toes and on the balls of his feet as he wants things to to happen yesterday. Sometimes when he's doing interviews, doing a piece to camera, when he's summing up that something that's happened in Kitchen Nightmares, he will look down as if he's thinking, well, that went as well as it could have gone. Yes, and I really hope that this restaurant becomes a success. Yes, damn. So there's that as well. It's the gesturing, the nervous energy, wanting things to be done quickly. He's got that slap of the hand. One chicken quesadilla, done. When you impersonate someone, you really get to know their whole personality, their whole persona, and little intricacies like vocal tics. Now, I don't mean to say that people have got necessarily Tourette's, but they've got words or phrases which they will repeat almost subconsciously without even thinking. Gordon has got those, for sure. If you watch his cooking programs, he likes to say, okay, to really illustrate a point, you'll find him cooking and saying, you place the pot on the stove, okay? First off, um, forget the chopping for a moment, okay? Okay, 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 now, okay, 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 okay. Now, obviously, Gordon's a passionate chef and loves good ingredients and the whole cooking process. He loves to say, Beautiful. A small knob of ginger, a beautiful uh, fresh chili, a beautiful garam masala. This is just a beautiful curry powder. Beautiful. All that beautiful butternut squash. Beautiful. Beautiful. Disintegrates. Beautifully. A beautiful juice. Beautiful. Beautiful. A beautiful. Beautiful. Beautifully crisp. So beautiful. A beautiful spoon. So beautiful. If he gets into foods which he loves and techniques, he really does infuse, which is great. Obviously, you want that passion from a chef, and he'll say that word quite a bit. Beautiful. Beautiful. Another thing that Gordon likes to say is, look at that, and look at that. Look at that, yes? Oh, look at that. 
But look at that. But look at that inside. Now look at that. When you're studying a person in order to impersonate them, look out for these little intricacies and these little ticks, phrases that they repeat from time to time, almost subconsciously without even knowing. If you can pick up on them and throw them into your impression, it makes the whole character much more rounded. And for the person listening, again, subconsciously, they'll lock onto those little phrases. Beautiful, okay? And it makes the impression much more rounded, much more complete. So there you have it. Whether you're a voiceover artist, an impressionist, or someone who's just interested in impressions, I hope that this video has been of interest and has given you an insight into how we break down not only the voice of a person, but the whole character and the persona, which will give us much more of an insight and much more detail into actually nailing down an impression. Uh, if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe uh, as I'll be uploading lots more videos of uh, voiceover tips and tricks and behind the scenes footage of voiceover sessions. And of course, lots more celebrity impressions. And if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like. That'll be very helpful. Thanks so much for watching. And until the next time, bye-bye. See you soon. So there you have it. Whether you're a voiceover artist, an impressionist, or someone who's just interested in impressions. Fuck's sake. So there you have it, whether you're a voiceover artist, uh, an impressionist, or someone who's just interested in celebrity impressions. I hope that this video has been of interest and given you an insight into how we not only nail down the voice, but uh, the whole physicality and the whole character of a, of a, of a character. Oh, no, no. <laughs>